Hi guys, this is Nandi. Welcome back to Bible and Authentic Living. I'm sharing with you today about the bell pepper. <laughs> I guess it does shape like a bell. <laughs> That's the bell. So this is green one and we have Mrs. Yellow. Now we have Mrs. Red Green. <laughs> you have some that are fully red. This is red green. There, there are some that they are naturally green. Even when they are ripe, they look green. And there are some that they will look green because they are green. They're not yet ripe, right? So this is a type of pepper. It is called the bell pepper in, in Jamaica. In Jamaica, we call it the sweet pepper. It is definitely not hot like its brothers and sisters like the capsicum, the cayenne, the chili, habanero, jalapeno those guys pack some heat some of them more heat than others but they pack some heat this fella very mild, very sweet so it is a fruit but generally it is um, served with the veggies so you will find it not in a fruit salad but in a vegetable salad with your tomatoes which is also a fruit um, cucumber which is also a fruit because the fruit is just the part of the plant that contains the seed and as you can see madame bell pepper has lots of seeds she is a fruit botanically she definitely qualifies but we're socialized to treat her like a veggie i don't think she minds either way the skin is very thick compared to the other peppers, at least the ones I'm familiar with. Very thick skin, very sweet taste, crunchy, crunchy and full of water, full of fiber. Mm. A mild sweet taste. It's very refreshing. Now the bell pepper is exceptionally high in vitamin C which is one of the antioxidant vitamins which will help to boost your immunity, help your body to get rid of those free radicals that we naturally produce but we need to clean out of the system so they don't cause havoc in the body vitamin c is a very potent vitamin in terms of its antioxidant properties and the bell pepper exceptionally high in vitamin c it also is low in calorie and high in fiber and high in water that's a sure winner that combination the low calorie high fiber high water high nutrients that's a winning combination in terms of health the antioxidant properties also help to reduce any kind of inflammation in the body which is the first one of the first signs that something is going a miss in the body right inflammation is an indicator that some kind of balance has been upset there is there is an imbalance 
in the system whenever you see inflammation and the anti-inflammatories will help to reduce inflammation in the body now the bell pepper is sweet because it has simple carbohydrates in the form of glucose and fructose it has a wonderful flavor in Jamaica here we, we include our bell peppers when when we're cooking fish for those who eat meat fish and other meat dishes you know you fry up your bell peppers with the hot peppers with its hot brothers and sisters this is the mild mannered the mild mannered firstborn let's see and then the other siblings not so mild at all so the, the pepper adds that it adds a unique flavor to the dishes of course being a fruit you don't need to cook this at all you might decide to bypass that whole process because it's not necessary you can just cut up your peppers on your salads whether vegetable salad or fruit salad as you like it and have it as is it's very crunchy very succulent as hard as it looks when you bite into it you realize that it is succulent right you'll get your b vitamins vitamin a vitamin e but sorry vitamin c vitamin k which helps promote blood clotting potassium which helps towards maintaining a um, healthy cardiovascular system and folate which is exceptionally good for pregnant women so as to prevent any birth defects and you know make sure that the fetus is formed and growing properly so definitely bell peppers are an excellent fruit to add to your diet whether you're going to use it in your um, cooking or you're going to eat it raw as we call it but actually when we say that these things are raw we're really mistaken because they have been cooked they have been cooked by nature they have been cooked by the Sun cooked to perfection slow cooked <laughs> cooked for months or weeks depending on what it is so you know when things are slow cooked they taste better because they go through that process you know the, the one of my favorite um, what do you call them gems proverbs lines I don't recall who who um, wrote it or if it is anonymous but it says the mills of the gods grind slow but they grind exceedingly fine and the fruits have been produced by the mills of the gods they go they are taken through that slow process but going through that slow process they are done to perfection and if we allow them if we allow them to come into their own to mature and to ripen as they should you know just have some patience and wait that's when we'll get the best out of them you know make sure that they are organic to the best of our ability make sure they get the rain make sure they get the sunlight that they need and they will they will um ripen they'll come to fruition that's where that word comes from fruition 
fruit they will come as they should and be of benefit to us just look at them look at the brilliant colors I say it all the time when you look at fruit they are so inviting the color the smell the flavor we are naturally drawn to fruit we are naturally drawn to fruit well fruit makes me happy definitely fruit makes me excited fruit makes me calm fruit makes me just satisfied <laughs> so this channel is all about sharing my fruits with the world I know that some persons are not able to access the bountiful variety of fruits that I am able to access living here in Jamaica in the tropics I know some persons particularly living in the temperate lands or even further north or much further south don't have access so it might seem spiteful but I'm just sharing with you I know you're missing out but if you can at least know that they exist so that when you get your vacation and you decide to visit you'll know exactly what to ask for if you want to become a supporter of the channel just follow the patreon link in the description below go on over to patreon and become a supporter if you have not yet subscribed to vibrant authentic living please do so please share the video to others so they can come on board and make healthy choices until next time this is nandi and i'll see you in the next video